It's time again to talk about another scam impacting the Wabash Valley and people across the country. I'm joined now by Tim Maniscalco of the Better Business Bureau serving Central Indiana. Tim, great to have you. Thank you very much. Appreciate doing this. We are talking about another scam today. There's a lot to talk about, but today we're talking about one that's impacting businesses and it has to do with marketing. So what is this scam and how does this one work? This one is they're really targeting, targeting small businesses, people who really don't have uh, the budgets or the staff to do marketing, social media, PR, get your name out there. You'll get a call from a company uh, on the phone or via uh, email, something like that, saying, hey, we can provide great marketing services for you, social media, get your name out there, uh, do all sorts of great things to get you a lot of publicity out there at very, very low prices. They're going to want you to sign a contract. They're going to want you to give some sort of upfront sort of retainer payment, and then the services will start. All of a sudden, you're not going to be able to find that company. They've just gone away. It's kind of like those fake websites out right. there, only this time it's someone who's calling you. So they are targeting small businesses. Once again, those people who don't have that and are looking for some way to get their name out there. So just be very, very careful if you get some sort of unsolicited call from someone who says, hey, I can provide all this for you at a very low price. Uh, you don't want to you know, do that just uh, without checking them out. And there are also, you know, a lot of local companies that can do that also. So right. you might want to think about a local company that can do that also because they are, know the, know the territory, right. know what's going on here. Uh, so that may be a better solution for a small business than going to somebody who, you know, doesn't know right. West Central Indiana, doesn't know Terre Haute. And I think you touched on it there, you know, especially for small businesses, they're busy trying to run their company, right? So it may be difficult to find the time to maybe research these companies, but that would be one of the things to do to avoid a scam oh, like this. Absolutely, you want to research a company. And once again, uh, what, what we found is that, you know, these companies that try to offer these services, uh, they go away, they don't know, uh, the territory and, and in this case it's just a scam they're just trying to get you to pay that upfront money thinking you're going to get something at a very very low cost you're going to get all these services you're going to be out on social media and in this case it's just a scam right you don't get those services and you're out that right money. you're out that money so it's important to report scams like this in any scams right to the better business bureau and how can people do that we've got a great website it's called scam tracker go to scamtracker.org uh, there will be a map of the United States, then you can hone right in to West Central Indiana, to Terre Haute, Vigo County, see the scams that are going on in your area. And up in the top right hand corner, there's a little red button, it's called Report a Scam. Take you just a couple of minutes, if you've been scammed or uh, have uh, attempted to be scammed, go ahead and report that to us. It's a fantastic way for people to keep informed as to what's going on. It's updated daily, scamtracker.org. And that's a way, again, for people to get that information so they don't become a victim, too. Absolutely. If you think you've been scammed, go to Scam Tracker, see if someone's reported a similar scam. That'll let you know, hey, I'm going to avoid this one. Absolutely. That is a great tip. Tim, thank you so thank much you. for being here. We appreciate you. If you need to see that information again or would like a link to that Scam Tracker, we're going to have it on our website. That's WTHITV.com.